Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Franchise Pearson, and welcome again to my channel. It is April 3rd, April 3rd of 2024, 9.30 in, actually 9.39 in the p.m. And let me say thank you one and all for switching over from French Shot Pearson to French Shot Blue. Yes, that's what we do here. This is my new home. Praise God for whom I bless and flow. He created a miracle two and a half weeks ago. I am not monetized. It's going to take a while to make a little money, but hey, we got to start, right? We got to start. God made that miracle for me, for us, and now I'm monetized, and thank God. But on with the show. I have a question for you guys. You heard about this yesterday. Joe Biden met with the president of China. You heard about this today. The devastating earthquake in Taiwan. Now let's go back. When we look at what was going on with the money and on French Shot Pearson, I, I discussed Taiwan the last couple of years and even recently over the last 30 days. But check it out. Biden allocated some money less than two weeks ago of which 300 million would go toward in foreign military financing to Taiwan. I want to say it again. Joe Biden allocated some money recently. You see this article is March 5th, March 25th. But he allocated, he approved the money, him and Congress. 300 million. 300 million dollars. Now you have to ask yourself, if I am a foe, if I am a foe of Taiwan and have been, and I've been announcing for a long time that I want to, you know, let's be nice, take it, and now this man allocates some money. For the military. Would you not. If you're a foe. Would you not. Make plans now. Before that money. Takes root before more troops are, let's say, um, trained, more military hardware comes over there, and you know, you're getting yourself ready in case my man come your way. Wouldn't you agree that that, that, that makes a lot of sense? So we got Biden giving 300 million dollars. And why I'm on the subject, I, I was showing my baby earlier uh, some uh, the pie chart of our budget. You know that military budget is, what, about 60%? Uh, let, let me just, let me digress. I, I'm getting upset a little bit right now. But, but, but let, let me get back on topic. Look, look, look. These two people had a E.T. phone home moment yesterday. Do you feel me? And I cannot remember in recent history where two world leaders met, had a phone call, rolled dice or whatever, and the very next day, you get an earthquake? Now, Pearson, you might ask, just what are you getting at? What are you getting at? Well, look here. I'm going to show y'all something. I, I need to speak without speaking. You see this book here? I didn't had this book for a minute. I want to say the early 80s. This book gets into what you can do without bullets. This book gets into things without cannons and missiles. This book gets into, even though 
is from way back in the day. And I mean way back in the day. I didn't have this puppy for a while. You feel me? Uh, copyright 1971. Used to be on Christian television. This book talks about technology which can move the earth. Okay? You want to get a copy? Check it out. It's probably on Amazon. That's my treasure. The book talks about technology that can move the earth. Use your imagination here. I ain't talking about just wiggling jello. I'm talking about wiggling the earth. Is it possible that this man here knew full well allegedly as he was having a conversation with our president, knowing that he just gave Taiwan $300 million that maybe, maybe, maybe he told him, look, I'm glad you called me because you see, I'm about to do something that you probably ain't going to like, but see, uh, we got a cold war going on and I really don't like that you gave them 300 million. So I got to bust a move, Joe. I say, I got to bust a move. Y'all think that's how the conversation went? I mean, you just got to use your imagination because, again, I cannot remember. And I've been watching politics for over 40 some, maybe 50 years. I ain't never seen the very next day after the phone call, booyah, an earthquake. Come on, man. Look, you should make some eyes, get the pop in here. Something going on. I'm just thinking. I'm going to say allegedly, but hey, it's making me think. What you think? Is it coincidence? Y'all know this man been popping off on Taiwan for a while. Y'all know that? They ain't like that we back in Taiwan. And they sure like we gave them the money. Let's check it out. As search and rescue operations are underway, they're after the strongest earthquake the island has seen in 25 years, at least nine people are dead, hundreds injured, and dozens trapped under destroyed buildings. The 7.4 magnitude quake shook the island's east coast during the morning rush hour. MTS Titans following all of this for us. Parts of a building crashed to the ground as people across Taiwan were getting ready for the morning rush. Inside cafes and bars, destruction. Panicking patrons, as the 7.4 magnitude earthquake rocked the island nation. The force of the quake was so powerful, some buildings tipped onto their sides, as some of the smallest survivors were carefully rescued. <laughs> Things just started to fall off the building, this woman says. Everything's damaged. In the eastern coastal Hualien City, rescue workers- Now, I don't mean to be insensitive, but, uh. Y'all see what color that is? Do you think out of all the newscasts, they would feature a building with purple? I, look, I'm just, I just had to ask that question. It's there. It's there. Just making you think. It's making me think. But let me go with the five C's hit. Do you mind if I do that? And again, I want to put emphasis on this book because it taught me a lot. In fact, I got a few of this man's books. God bless him. A minister wrote these books back in the day. And I'm using them in these times. Because there are apparatuses out here that can move the earth. Use your imagination. I can't give you the syllables. But I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Earth just don't move by itself. Hint, hint. Now let's look at something. Today is April 3rd. 
And it's a leap year. I said it's a leap year. It's the 94th day of the year. Taiwan is 94 in reverse gematria. Look at that. April 3rd, 4-3. The 94th day of the year. And Taiwan is 94. But check this out. I ain't done. Today's date versus 11-20. Who is, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Joe Biden's birthday is 11-20. Coming up. The difference between the earthquake date and his birthday coming up is 33 weeks. 33, that's Masonic. Is that coincidence? But check this out. You take the same earthquake date versus the election. Joe Biden going to be in the election, right? Subtract the two dates, what do you get? 216 days from now. The 216th day of the year is August 4th. I said that 216th day of the year is August 4th. Oh, snap. Oh, come on, man. Show me that again. Tell me, when you subtract today's day from the election of the President of the United States, you get 216 days. And August 4th is the 216th day of the year, of which Barack Obama was born on August 4th. Oh, come that's crazy. Take the same date again. Subtracted from the movie Leave the World Behind. It was made on Netflix. It was released December 8th of 2023. Of which Barack Obama consulted in. The difference is 336. People, if you don't believe these are the last days, I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. I was at work and part of this came to me. So I came home, had some supper, spent some time with a girl. Look at what's going on in this world. Look at it. Look in it. I just put it together. Can you believe what's transpired before? Are these, are these coincidences? What did Joe Biden, the Honorable Joe Biden, talk about with the President of China? <laughs> Y'all think we got a Cold War going on? You think the guy from China surprised old Joe and made a move on him? What you think? Hey, look, it's possible. Why did Joe coincidentally just call him in? You think that's coincident? Oh, you know, I got about a thousand world leaders. Let me just take a dart and throw it at the world calendar. Oh, it landed on China. Let me give him a call. Come on, man. Something going on. Something going on, y'all. I, 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 I can't. Come on, y'all. Spill the beans here. What's, what's popping? 